life together. It seems like the ultimate millennial pursuit. And just like you, I get burnt out, anxious, stressed. So today I've partnered with Loxy Tan to show you how I get my life together. And for me, it's finding four types of clarity, physical, mental, financial, and spiritual. And these are all intersectional, by the way. I feel that my physical space is a reflection of my inner chaos and there's actually a UCLA study that says similar to what multitasking does to your brain, physical clutter overloads your senses making you feel stressed and impairs your ability to think creatively. One space that requires the most attention is my closet. I apply the KonMari method and I roll most of my clothes to save space and I fold rather than hang my sweaters. I read somewhere online that horizontal spaces attract the most clutter and I find this to be very true so I always make sure to clean up all my tabletops and desktops. Just like space, skin is a physical manifestation and my skincare routine is a daily ritual that is somewhat both meditative and a form of aromatherapy. I'm excited to be celebrating the skin I'm in with L'Occitane's Immortel Divine Cream which fights visible signs of aging and it actually has SPF 20 to prevent UV damage. It has the Immortel essential oil for that youthful radiant glow and it's just celebrating that true beauty really needs no filter. Growing up, I felt like I spent so much of my time being insecure about the way that I looked and I wonder how much more productive and well-grounded I would have been if I just focused all that energy into empowering myself. I was told to get plastic surgery on the daily for my monolids and today I suffer from mild to moderate adult acne, but you know, as I get older, I realize sometimes the weight you need to shed is simply not physical. One of my biggest insecurities has always been my upper arms and so recently for my 25th birthday in honor of recognizing how awesome it is to be me and to have these arms, I decided to get a huge work of art on it and it's been helping me to really empower all that is me. So for my mental and also spiritual clarity, I make it a daily practice to recognize the privilege it is to be me. No one is you and that is your power. I embrace the skin I'm in, the acne prone, monolithic version of me. I take a lot of personality tests that tell me because I'm someone who lives greatly in her head, I should take the time out to be in nature and one of my favorite places to be is the ocean. The serenity the beach brings me can easily move me to tears at any moment. It's here I find solace and it's here where I find not only my mental, spiritual, but also physical clarity. It's where I feel the most free, the most at peace. I try to come out as often as I can, getting fresh air, moving my body, it makes me feel so alive. Each and every day I try to live more more transparently and I try my hardest every day to center myself because there really is no filter needed other than the skin you're really in. I consider myself a spiritual person. I do believe in a higher consciousness and so my spiritual practice is one of the utmost highest importances to me in getting my life together. So I often palo santo my space and rid it of any negative energy. Then often meditate. Oak is one of my favorite free apps and I usually just YouTube any free meditations. I'll have some linked down below. As someone who has always identified with her thoughts more than her feelings, I find myself to be the most productive when I can reach higher levels of introspection. So I try to journal as often and frequently as possible. Usually it's without a prompt, but I'm a huge fan of tarot card readings online. So sometimes I look up some readings and I have a few of my favorites on YouTube. I'll link them down below. And I just like to journal what I think might be predicted for March. And I take what I resonate with it and what I don't and I reflect. And it's just really fun to see what manifested and what did not. And if you're not not someone who can just freehand journal, these are some of my favorite guided journals that I have from the Daily Stoic to the 5 Minute Journal. 
planning. In college, I was a frequent planner and I still to this day cannot live without my Moleskine. But these days, my iCal and my monthly planner on my desk are usually my go-to because they're just right there. I typically like to spend planning out the month, then filling in important dates, and then just transferring that all into my monthly calendar on my table. Last but not least, because unfortunately money definitely plays a huge role in our lives, I like to make sure I'm caught up on all my bills and just make sure I'm on time for rent, credit cards, no overdraft fees, and one of my favorite finance managing apps is called Clarity. It was actually an Instagram ad app for me and it worked. It tells you how much you might have spent on one item and how to save up for a rainy day or a house, and it gives you an estimated soft credit score. I also like to make sure I've deposited any leftover money saved in my Venmo or Cash Apps because one time I literally had a thousand dollars just sitting there from Coachella. I also make sure to activate any cashback rewards on my credit card and also redeem any cashback points once in a while. Also, this of course goes without saying, but getting enough sleep, six to eight hours, and eating right, so whether that's cooking at home or eating more whole foods, always helps me get back on track to leading a more successful and productive life. those were all of my tips i hope you guys enjoyed watching this be sure to subscribe if you liked it and i'll see you guys in my next one